All right, well, it's hardly ever a dull moment. Um, so the inauguration was this morning and I did watch it. I do have a couple of thoughts about it, uh, but overall it's just another day. So I hope everybody is being safe out there uh, on this particular day, uh, no matter what your stance is, uh, just everybody be safe. In the interest of being safe, I actually just got a call that my uncle, who lives not too far from here, uh, unfortunately got into a bit of an accident. Uh, so I'm going to go check on him real quick. Uh, I'll give you an update on that a little bit later, but it looks like everybody's fine. It's probably just a fender bender or something just damaged to the car, but to nobody uh, in particular, not to any people at least. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, be doing that real quick and then I'll be back with today's vlog. Yeah, they did. Earlier clip didn't have this on there, so... It is raining like crazy right now. And you can see it here, plain as day. It's crazy. I might try to get some shots of the rain or something like that. I actually wanted to be like right here just working out, but even that part's starting to get flooded. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy, crazy starts of the day. I mean, we had the inauguration this morning and everyone has conflicting feelings about that, I feel like. Very mixed, especially when you take everybody into account. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on and I might be going somewhere a little bit later, but this rain definitely is not making it very safe to go anywhere. Doing something a little random right now. It's been kind of a weird day because you know the, the inauguration was this morning, and uh, and I don't know. It's just been feel. I mean, look at the, the. It's been raining like crazy, and I don't know. I just kind of feel like I want to go do something kind of odd. Brothers here. I noticed that I'm going to be wearing hats more often. Uh, I want to grow my hair out. It's weird. I always do it kind of weird because, I mean, you know, I end up, I end up growing my hair out. Lots of times, summer comes it's around. Probably seasonal thing. Exactly. idea where to find this product that I'm looking for. I imagine it's going to be in portable audio, so... Because Fry's does not have a clothing department. <laughs> I'm guessing this is... This place is gonna die soon. I don't know, I don't think they will. Okay, maybe it's a Friday, and not everybody's here. At the mall. But there's so much real estate that used to be occupied. I mean, like this aisle right here, used to be just filled with products, and now... They have to separate little, like min little mini kiosk areas. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Aisle 79? 75? Oh, the Mars? Yeah, I've always wanted no, to try. Look at this guy. Oh. I mean, we could ask somebody else, so. All right, well, it's just that kind of day. Uh, they don't have it. They had it for a little while, but it didn't move is the term that they used. Uh, so no, they don't have it anymore. 
Okay, I'll just say what it is. It's a beanie that happens to have like little speakers in it, so you'd be able to listen to music or take calls on it. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to have, you know, just be able to cover up my head while I'm trying to grow my hair out and then, you know, listen to music on it or just take calls. Taking calls was actually the main function that I liked out of it. Gotta take advantage of good lighting. Um, I think the the best bet is to just try to get it on Amazon and maybe get it for tomorrow. Would have been cool to have for Las Vegas, but it's just kind of funny. Uh, everyone who was here, like they they knew exactly what I was talking about, which I think was funny because I feel like this is a very obscure product. <laughs> I realize I left you hanging there a little bit in terms of my opinions of the inauguration, uh, but I'll get to that finally. That'll be the end of this particular vlog, even though you were, were talking on the next day. Uh, but just a couple of updates real quick. This morning, I finally went to call E again. And anybody who's watching this vlog that knows me knows that I'm always beating myself up about not going to my martial arts class. I'm super happy that I was able to go back. Hopefully I'll be able to go very consistently, uh, my short-term goal right now is to go to a morning class uh, at 8 a.m., which is on Mondays and Wednesdays. Wednesdays will probably be the time that I do that um, because by waking up early and going to that class, it should be sort of the way that I get the discipline train rolling. I got a couple of goodies from the dojo, from the academy rather. Um, this is the symbol uh, for the clothing brand uh, Pamana, which is connected to uh, the Kali Method Institute. So there's that. I love these snapbacks. And like I mentioned earlier in the vlog, I want to grow my hair out. So uh, that means that I'll probably be wearing hats and potentially beanies more often. And when I finally get that Bluetooth beanie, I'll let you guys know. But there's another thing that I got also, uh, which is great. This is actually a Christmas present. And my uh, guru, my master, was actually sort of poking fun at me a little bit because he was like, you weren't here during Christmas. So I I wasn't able to give this to you. Uh, but as you can see in the back here, that is Pomana. So that would be the clothing brand. But this is a train local shirt. So you can see down there that it's in Claremont, California. And it is just the Kali Method Institute for the Martial Arts, the Martial Arts Academy. All right, so to my thoughts about the inauguration, I'm not gonna get super political on this. Um, if there's one thing that I don't want to do, it's offend anybody, because in this day and age, I think the most important thing that we can do uh, for each other is to understand each other's situations or experiences. And there are a lot of people in this country and a lot of people who might end up watching these videos that may not agree with the way that I think and the other way around. So there's no reason why I should instigate or antagonize anybody because I want to actually understand uh, where other people are coming from. But these are just my thoughts on the speech and the whole situation. Um, I, th I did think it was pretty interesting that there weren't that many people in Washington, D.C. There are a lot of them now. Um, on the 21st of January is when all of the marches are happening. So there's actually going to be like three or four times as many people in Washington, D.C. Uh, in protest of President Trump, now President Trump. And it didn't seem like his speech as president getting inaugurated was different from anything from his rallies. And if anything, you know, you can take different perspectives on that and decide whether or not that's a bad thing. I I choose to think that it's not a great omen because if that's going to be his message every time we hear from him during his presidency, then what kind of change can we expect? Details are always important. And if there's one thing that's usually missing in Trump's speeches, it's the actual explanation as to how he's going to achieve all the things that he claims he's going to achieve without a shadow of a doubt. So that's really just my main opinion about what happened. I don't think that it's going to be a bad next four years. There's definitely going to be a lot of work that has to be done, but all of that is on us. And I think that's the main message I wanted to put out there is that if you are upset about Trump being president, well, that just means that we, as the people who want a certain type of progress or don't agree with the GOP or with our president, our new president, well, that just means that we have to fight even harder to uh, not only have the lives that we want to have and to have the experience 
experiences that we want to have, but also to educate the masses as to why those things are important to us. Uh, and we just have to continue hustling and just uh, representing ourselves in a way that makes us be taken seriously. And also as a student of communication, I just thought it was hilarious that Stephanopoulos on ABC, uh, you know, I, I don't always agree with the way that he analyzes stuff, but this was kind of a, it made me laugh is what I'm trying to say, is that right after the speech, he said that uh, if you could take it in a nutshell, Donald Trump's speech was at first, pretty gracious and um, sort of congratulating previous presidents on the work that they did do in the government. And then the last half of the speech was him saying that all those same people, the administrations and the incumbents and the elites, as he would say, failed America. So it's funny how in just those one, uh, in just this one speech, in 16 minutes or so, he was contradicting himself all over the place. So I don't know, to me as a student of communication, I don't necessarily view that as a great thing, uh, but I just thought it was hilarious that just after the speech, ABC aired Stephanopoulos saying that, and I thought that was pretty savage of them. All right, so articulate or not, uh, those were just my thoughts about what happened yesterday. And as you saw, it turned out to be a rather weird day after all of that happened, I tried to buy that beanie and then it didn't really happen. Uh, and then after that, uh, kind of the saving grace of the day was that I met up with Raymond again, who you saw in the previous vlog, and I met a couple of other YouTubers who were awesome. Uh, so I'll give a quick shout out to them real quick. Uh, if I could just find their channels in front of me. Uh, one of them is Andrea Meng, uh, and it is called In Business and Life. And you can find that link down in the description below. She's super new and is just at this moment in time sharing her experience and her, let's say, facts about herself uh, before she kind of gets hits the ground running with all of this. And then uh, is Rowena Sai, who talks about uh, thrifting uh, in the last number of videos that she did, uh, and also just sort of talking about her life story and chasing her dreams and doing this YouTube thing full time. Uh, the most recent video, uh, at least at the time of this recording, was her going to the People's Choice Awards, which I thought was a pretty fun vlog. So uh, you can check out those two. Um, and of course, Raymond's uh, channel is linked down in the description below and you can see a quick glimpse of it here uh, He works with beans and Croydon and he does a vlog series via seasons. That's called running with Raymond All right guys, thank you guys for watching this one was a little bit of a long-winded one But I hope you uh, are okay with me sort of trying to get back into the swing of things not only with these vlogs and with the gaming videos Which I'm going to do right now So uh, it's kind of a fun problem to have is I need a video game more so I can have content for the channel But in any case, hopefully you guys are enjoying all of that and I will be getting into more structured content including my review of the RX 100 uh, And I'll explain why that video got a little bit tough to do and of course the review of the LX 10 which is is the camera that I ended up choosing to keep, uh, if not only because I love uh, Panasonic. But there will be more reviews of that. I'm actually conceptualizing T reviews and trying to figure out what those are going to look like. And we're just gonna go from there. So hopefully you're okay with me talking this long in front of the camera and you can see me in the next video.